Here we are at what's commonly referred to as the WLW radio antenna in Westchester Township, Southern Ohio. It's actually called the Blaw Knox antenna. And as the sign reads, in 1922, during the infancy of broadcast radio, the call letters WLW were assigned to the radio station begun by the Cincinnatian Powell Crosley Jr. The station moved its transmitting operation to Mason in 1928. And by April 17, 1934, WLW had permission to operate experimentally at 500,000 watts, becoming the first and only commercial radio station to broadcast at this superpower. WLW was formally opened at 500,000 watts by President Franklin Delano Roosevelt on May 2, 1934. Using its 831-foot Blaw Knox antenna to broadcast at 10 times the power of any station, it earned the title the Nation Station. Locals reported hearing the broadcast on barbed wire fences, milking machines, rain spouts, water faucets, and radiators. The custom-built transmitter, a joint venture between RCA, GE, and Westinghouse, remained in operation until March 1, 1939, when the FCC ordered the station to return to broadcasting at 50,000 watts. And here's a look at the antenna. You can see the call sign, WLW, still right there in the center. And the antenna itself continues to stretch all the way up there. Now the Blaw Knox antenna is on Tarleysville Road here in Westchester Township. Address here is 710. I have to wonder though if the original address wasn't 700, considering 700 WLW is the current call numbers for this radio station. Maybe if somebody else knows something about that or if they know if I'm on the right trail with that or not, leave me a comment down there below. I'd appreciate that. Thanks for coming with me today on our trip to the Blaw Knox Antenna here in Southern Ohio. You've enjoyed this video, found it useful, found it entertaining, whatever. I'd appreciate a thumb up like at the bottom, and I'll see you on the next video.